<clears throat> What's going on guys? Welcome back to another playthrough of Alan Wake 2. Woo! I am super scared to play this game right now. It's almost like... Oh, this game almost makes me not want to play it because it's so fucking scary, but... Here we go. Saga? Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. She's got I need to get clicker. back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. Oh, shit. Casey. Oh, okay. So, this is, uh... Oh, I just ended up in a coffee world right now. How did that happen? Get some light. How do I get back? <clears throat> um, oh, sure, actually. Investigate the previously flooded area. Oh, okay. I think I'm going the right way. <laughs> when you ask, Maricetta will speak. Get this guy. Man, freaking coffee world, man. Scary looking coffee mug, no, that's for sure. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. David, leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has a horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. Oh, shit, yeah, let's go back to Wake. That's what I want to do right now. Talk to him. The flooding's lowered. I should look around, see where the water was hiding. Yeah. Hello. Oh. Oh my goodness. Of course. Of course. Bailey ran around the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off. It was in front of him, a glitching cloud, a dark, boiling monster. Looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like. He was sick with fear. He fell. The dark presence ripped into him, swallowed him, filled his lungs and his brains with dark water. Bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness, then he realized it was his own face. He was snarling. He was standing in the street in the dark and he was snarling. He was snarling, he snarled. The monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now filled with rage. He was the monster now filled with rage, he shouted. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, scary, man. Ilma Koskela stood in front of the small gathering of Coffee World employees and bikers. He read from a piece of paper. Mocha was a wonderful moose who deserves a place of honor in the Hall of the Calavella Knights. 
His skull will become the crown of the Grand Master. The dead brought back the life. There was polite applause. After the service, Ilmo had the body hauled off to be turned into moose steaks. Mulligan and Thornton were told to get the head cleaned. They both grabbed an antler. What the hell, Thornton? I got it, Mulligan. They brought the skull into the workshop to boil it and bleach it. They grumbled, wanted to just get it fucking done. It was just a stupid animal. But I guess moose steak is never a mistake, huh? <laughs> That's uh, all there is, right? We're well, maybe not. Maybe this area, let's just kind of look around. Uh, nope, can't. Wait. going on here like why is it so quiet well at least the flooding's gone down yeah but the fish aren't biting any better There's just nothing here. Let me just say, like, kind of checked on the janitor real quick. I don't know what happened. He stopped singing. Or did Quite he? Quite the show that Artsy fella put on today, eh? I loved it. I had half a mind to come down and start dancing. Oh, why didn't you? <laughs> We're going to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? <laughs> no, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine. Like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yaku needs. Alma beer to the rescue! Oh, Alma beer. Bring out your inner Wolverine with Alma beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Alma Beer. Alma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. <clears throat> In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your oh big from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikannit. Drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Alma beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here. <laughs> Damn. So did he die or something? Like, cause I saw him. I saw his corpse earlier, like on the overlap. And oh, I hope he's not dead. Oh shit! I don't know what I pressed just now. I think I came to the right place. <laughs> Man, it's just like driving around. She doesn't even know what's going on. Alan Wake. 
My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Ooh. Oh no. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Ah, oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan then, Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that <laughs> way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. So what is he then? I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Oh god. Get down! No, Alex. FBI. We want the rider. No one else needs to get hurt. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. What do they want with him? Shit. Hey, what are you doing? What do you think? What do you think, bro? Hey, I've seen this scene before. Scratch. No chance. I'm Alan Wake I escaped this... the dark place. So with the dark presence. Scratch. He was here. In Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Oh, what happened? Casey? I need to protect myself. Got a flashlight. Nostalgic. Oh shit! Hell yeah, I got a shotgun. Finally. 
Casey. That's Casey. He was still alive. Oh shit, what the fuck? Oh no. <clears throat> Smack his ass. Hmm. Why isn't he dying? Jeez. How many times do I have to smack you, dude? Jeez. Oh, God. oh that's why. Oh, my God. I didn't even. Un oh, that's why he didn't die. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Just run, Ellie. Just run. Just run. Oh! Just run. Just run. Just get to that light. Just get to that light. That's all you gotta do. Oof. Oh, Casey. These were the cultists the FBI were after. Were they letting themselves be taken? Or did the dark presence not discriminate? Damn. Just get to Casey. Just get to Casey. Please. Don't even don't even acknowledge them. Don't even acknowledge them. The pressure in my they head don't was unbearable. Exist. Scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. Oh, Scratch, dude. Oh shit, what the Casey! Look out! It's him! Oh, shit! Oh, God, Scratch! Uh. Uh. Oh, God oh, damn, Scratch! The pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey! Casey, I'm coming! Did he just kill Casey? Oh, fuck. FBI, drop the knife! Uh, uh. Elmo? Suggy, you don't understand! No way! Kieran Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation no at the sheriff way. station. What the hell is FBC? Of evidence with you. Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Oh, no way. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it. Agent. Be Go home. Careful, moving quick. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. <laughs> The fuck is a parry pill it's so getting the clicker to wake. Never heard of that word I'm before. Here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Damn. That was some crazy ass chapter. Alright, I jump right into the next part here. Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Hello? Taga! It's Tor. 
Your grandfather. Oh, no. time you were coming to visit, kiddo. <clears throat> How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck. Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Should probably go check. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nursing home. What is going on? Why am I getting chased by wolves all of a sudden? Whoa! What? Oh my god, what the fuck? Why am I getting chased by wolves? Fuck, man. I have to work this out on the case board. Okay. Let's work out on the case board real quick. Where's the case board? Oh my god, look at this mess. <clears throat> Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. Ooh. Is Tor okay? Oh, sure. You tell me. <sighs> or later, eh? Look right. Cole tried to kill Alan Wake. Ilmo, huh? Where does this, this go? Oh, who's involved? Oh, I didn't even see that part. Huh, oh, for later. Ooh, what is this? <laughs> Damn, so that's all I know, baby. Go to the nursing home. You know what? Because of the f fucking woes, maybe I can take the long way around it, huh? Nah, not really. There's no other way, actually. I don't see any other way. <clears throat> Ooh, this way might give me some more weapon, though. That's what I really need to fight off those wolves. Alright, where am I? Top of the mountain right now. Another one of those cult boxes. Nice. Ooh, five this time. Easy. 
<clears throat> exactly what I needed, baby. Oh, what's up with this lag? All right. Um, uh, I just got something from the. Yeah, ah, there we go. Where am I right now, anyway? Probably in the Bright Falls, right? Um, all right. There we go. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna use my flare to get away from the wolves, maybe. That should work. Alright, wolves. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I would just give a quick save since I got the heal and everything. Here we go. Moves, where are you at? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Oh shit. Light another one right away. <clears throat> all right, all right, all right, all right. This should take me to the nursing home. Nice, that worked. That actually worked. Nice. Uh, two flares is what I needed, baby. Torn Odin claimed to be my family. I know Logan and I never lived here, but I don't know enough about my family history to say they're not my relatives. Mom only ever said my grandfather was bad news. Or is Less that also him, the better? Is that made up memory of what she got? You know, Saga had slid into a nightmare. A growing amount of evidence said her daughter was dead. <laughs> oh shit! Saga couldn't accept that. Wake said it could be undone. But Wake was gone, in the custody of the Federal Bureau of Control. Casey, her only ally, was gone too. She was alone. Agent Estevez had pulled rank on her, stonewalled her, shut her out of her own case. Saga refused to give up. She needed answers. <clears throat> Tor and Odin Anderson would have some. A family visit then. No one could blame her for that. Saga was trapped in a horror story. It was manifesting itself around her like the darkness of a mental illness, pushing her deeper and deeper. Oof, that's terrifying. Old gods. It's a little late for visitors, you know. I was just getting the... Oh, Hi. Saga? What's up? Hello, Rose. Thought I'd swing by, see the family. Not a bad time, is it? Oh, no. I was just, you know, tidying the, uh, the, um... I'm so glad you're visiting again, Saga. But Odin and Tor can't see anyone today. Why not? I was just on the phone with Tor. He invited me over. Sorry, we had a little too much fun on our trip to Watery and need to rest. Oh, wait, that's Rose. I need an Rose. excuse to get in and talk to them. That's too bad. Okay, if I say hi to the other residents before I go. Um, <clears throat> sure. They always love visitors. Come on in. Not smart to be outside when the sun goes down. I love the architecture. I always dreamed of living in a haunted Victorian manor. You say that like it's your first time here. <laughs> Here's some of our residents, or as I like to call them, our little Vikings. Look who swung by, everyone. 
Norman, close! Norman, we have a visitor. Oh, Where are your I've, clothes? I've seen him before. I'm, I'm headed back to the sauna with Artie. <sighs> Just another day in Valhalla. I should really get back to work, Saga. But feel free to spend some time with Mandy May and Norman here. It's good for them to have company. Uh -huh. Torrent Odin are here somewhere. Need to find them. Ooh. Man, Rose. Like, from working at the coffee shop to this. She's really suspicious, that's for sure. Oh my god, you more again? Morning for me to drink this coffee I'm holding. And those guys. Oh shit, this coffee is shit. Hopefully they're part of the cult. Yako, did you just drink a regular brand coffee? Oh, I did. My perfect morning is ruined. And all because of your shit coffee. If only we could have good coffee. Hey, what? What's that sound? Oh! <gasps> Ilmo, look, it's the Bright Falls blended organic coffee from Old Deer Diner. Oh, wow. I've heard that the health benefits of this coffee include increased energy, improved eyesight, better lovemaking, and deeper connection to animals. With a thermos full of hot coffee close at hand, you are always prepared for what comes next. How does it taste, Yako? I feel like a million bucks. Thanks, old dear diner coffee. Bright Falls Blend Organic Coffee is brewed with care right here in the Pacific Northwest from coffee beans that are sourced locally in Puerto Rico. Try it today at Coffee World and the old dear diner. And don't forget to try the delicious brunch special this month only for Deer Fest. Mm. What's going on here? I don't think the sound and the video match there. Not sure if that was on purpose or <laughs> the game is bugged. I can't tell. There's another lunchbox. Okay. On the map for this place. Nice. Ooh. Manuscript fragments. Just gotta look around. Yeah, they're all the resources I possibly can here. Mm. Look at her. You said I'd been here before. When was the last time I visited? Let's see exactly what she thinks she remembers. Oh, it's been years. We were all so sad when you left. After the accident. Oh, fuck this. <laughs> My daughter didn't drown. You're remembering wrong. She's at home watching Night Springs with her father. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's useless. I need to stop the story. Damn. Sorry, Saga. That area's for staff only. Okay, girl. Oh, the janitor. He's here now. Saga Anderson. Hey, Pazine. Name won't make the man burst. Even the Swedish name. I must. Anything good on that jukebox? We try to do good, but only prime comes out. <laughs> Music from my Swedish brothers. Old gods of Asgard. My guys. The 
Vikings. Man, why is this guy everywhere, man? Don't tell me this guy's scratch. Like, I feel like he's related to him at least. Do you know where I could find the Andersons? Oh, you can never know where. Only a seaman can know that. But even the seaman can know everything. <laughs> Thanks anyway. Were you in the band? Minak? No, no. Not so much sweet that it fills the whole stomach. But uh, we have shared a stage or two. Oh, okay. What's in the wellness center? Oh, that's where we provide our health services to the residents. We have a rehab facility, dining area, and beds for special round-the-clock care. To stay young, stay limber. Why does she look so different? Huh. So weird. Train is coming down like from the ass of S. Alright, let me go check out the second floor and see what's about. Let me check the map to see what this looks like. Conversation. Hmm. Okay. Odin and Tor? Oh, it's right there. Oh, I just gotta go talk to him right now. Easy. Let me go talk to them. This is Tor's room. This place is a mess. And Tor's not here. I need to keep looking. More moonshine. Was this a drunken rampage? There we go. Now I can see. Oh, God's of Asgard. Odin's in bad shape. He was drunk and watery. Or is this something more serious? Can you hear me, Odin? <laughs> Odin Abison? Can you hear me? I need to ask you a couple of questions. Odin? <laughs> What the hell's going on? He's in no shape to talk. Time for that profiling. <laughs> Odin's in rough shape. What happened to him? These are our twilight years. There's darkness in the water. We have our little tricks. And so do you. What's happening? Oh. It's never felt this way before. You're all grown up, Saga dearest. And you're back just in time. The forces of darkness are eating away at us. We're too old and weak. You have the power in you, like all Andersons. What was that? He oh. wasn't a projection. Odin was really here. We were connected. No way. Are they really my family? Is that why this is happening? Damn. Maybe. They are Andersons after all. I've never connected to someone like this in my mind place before. How is this happening? I was glad to answer your call. Vikings are born travelers. You are a seer. You can see the truth. But your grandpa will want to tell you more himself. Wouldn't want to steal his thunder. Oh, Thor? Thor is in danger. You can save him. Is my mind place more than just a mental technique? <laughs> what the? Sometimes my mind place even baffles me. Wow. I wish I can this do is that. The reason. 
Is there something more than intuition behind it? One thing at a time. Tor is in trouble. Once I help him, he can maybe tell me more. Damn. Or in you danger. You said Tor is in danger. What's going on? Darkness is drawn to the spark. Tor only thinks with his hammer, never his head. The Prince of fucking Darkness is making a comeback. Tor is marked by darkness. I can feel it. Is he in his room? It wants to take him, and then take me. Beware of Cynthia Weaver. Bad things happen in the wellness center. Cynthia? I thought Don't she was dead. let her drag him under, Saga. Does Prince of Darkness refer to Scratch? Is Tor becoming taken? I need to find him before it's too late. Stop this before more people get hurt. Damn, she has no idea what's going on. I found huh? a photograph of you with the cultists. How are you involved? We're too old for this brand of crazy. But we'll drink with anyone who's offering. The cult's been on our asses to join for years. But we already have our band. And those damn fools don't know what they're dealing with. No wonder they want a pair of legends. Torn Odin are not part of the cult. The cult thinks there's something special about Torn Odin. I'm starting to see it too. <laughs> I found Wake's clicker. What can you tell me about it? Cut off from Tom's lamp. It washed to the shore. Good work getting the light switch. The light switch is like an amp. You can play rock and roll without it, but you won't blow anyone away. Art, like Tom's writing, can change the world. But the light switch will crank that change to 11. The clicker has the power to change the story. To save Logan. Logan? This confirms what Wake said. Oh, yeah, the daughter. I can't I almost would get his hands on the clicker. By Tom's writing, Odin must mean Wake. Oh, man. Damn, okay. Nah. <laughs> the clicker makes Wake's writing change reality. Can I trust him with that much power? Not sure I have a choice. <laughs> so I guess I gotta give the clicker to Wake, huh? Oh, what's up with the... What's going on here? Huh, sorry about the technical difficulty here. Not sure what's going on. Hmm. That was weird. The game keeps like getting bugged after the patch happens. Like one after Tor another. Is not okay. Something is definitely going on here. Gross. So that's what the actress looks like, it seems like. <laughs> Fucking Rose. She is not being helpful. Ooh, some lyrics, okay. Excuse me, miss, but 
but you don't see me barging into your room while you're performing mental and physical strengthening exercises, do you? I thought not. <laughs> Sorry. Don't mind me. And now I have to start over. Well, sorry, lady. Really sorry about that. Too many hands. Huh? What is this room about? You were a handsome deer. It came out in bubbles. Cynthia. Oh shit, no way. This is a safe room apparently. The light bulb had blown. Oh there Meant she is. Meant to replace it days ago. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Sorry? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, damn it. She's one of them. There must be an overlap here somewhere. What? Oh my god. Holy shit, I almost pissed my pants Very there, man. Ill. The government built a I bunker in World War II to watch the ocean for Axis navies and who knows what else. Ever since they sealed the bunker, oh, goodness, it's Cynthia. been a hot spot for teens. The Ocean View Motel and Spa, they call it. Ironically, I believe. They go there to enjoy their beer and their vapes and electronic cigarettes. Ridiculous. The future is. <clears throat> oh, this guy. So, the teens would drink there, do other stuff that isn't appropriate content for you listeners at home, but the bunker has a tendency to flood, especially during the winter. In the 90s, a, a group of teens went down there one Saturday night and got a little drunker than usual. The teens noticed one girl, Nora Hesburgh, was missing. They figured she just went home. When Nora's folks didn't find her in her bed the next morning, they called the police. Need to find the key. It's mm -hmm. They searched the bunker and found poor Nora floating in one of the all right, I'm gonna go check the third floor now. God, fucking Cynthia, man. Why did she have to scare me like that? Okay. Why is there like so many? Why is this room so dark? Getting in is forbidden. Oh, what the? For your own safety. Time is long for those who wait. But in the end, stand to dance. Sheesh. <laughs> Didn't see you there. What was he? Where, where did he even come from? The fuck? It's like a stalker or something. God damn. Man, just get me out of here, man. Holy shit. Need the key. Also, this is the room that needs the key. Okay. Alright. What the hell is he even doing here? <laughs> God damn, okay. Alright, Rose. What's up? Tor's in the wellness center, isn't he? No, he's... Well, yes, but you really shouldn't go in there right now. I'm gonna need you to unlock the door. This is FBI business. It's just... There's some things that, uh... <sighs> yes, okay, I'll let you in. Wow. Thank you, Rose. Just like that. Huh. Oh, the 
center here. Watch out for puddles. What? You can hurt yourself in the dark. Right. Um, thanks. That lady is a walking red flag. <laughs> oh shit, that's kind of scary warning right there. Oh god, I don't like that. Odin's that Torney needs help. But from what? Is he turning into a taken? Wait. Huh? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh god damn it. Dark. Empty. Be ready, Saga. I don't like this. I don't like this. Tor. What is that? Is that a manuscript? Damn. Tor Anderson had lightning in his veins. This was rock and roll, baby. That weaver girl had cast a spell on him. Tor would do anything she'd ask. Tor deserved this. Tor wanted this. She wanted the song. A gift. He had to get it for her. <laughs> Afterwards, it was too late. Tor swung his hammer in frustration. The spark was gone. Black liquid clogged his mind. A bad trip. Tor fought it. He was strong. He'd never be taken. But the darkness could still drown him. Tor needed to warn someone. It was all happening again. Tom was back. Coming back. Tom would need help too if he was going to make it. But the brothers were too old to stop at this time. Tor had called someone. Someone who could help. The name escaped him. Drowned beneath dark water. Oh my god. Oh shit. Tor. He's hurt pretty bad, but he tore off his bandages. Why? Tor was here. Where is Tor? Oh man, I don't like this. An electric lock. Looks like it's controlled remotely. Damn it, Cynthia. Targeted. He needs help. <sighs> Tor left the wellness center. No, Tor's right there. We saw him. Is there a map for this place? Oh, there is a map for this place, but I just haven't discovered it yet. Shit, I 
like that. I don't like the sound of that. Dispensary? Hmm, can I get some weed from there? Oh, let's go to the dispensary. There's gotta be something good here, right? Yeah, oh, this is a safe zone. Dispensary is always safe. Oh man, oh, nice. I like it. But, oh, it would have been really nice if Dispensary offered me some map, but. Oh, it looks like that's not the case. Rehab Center. What can I possibly do to open the door? Oh, I don't think I've ever been here before. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay, 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 okay. This door needs a knob. A knob, eh? Security computer. Oh, yeah, make sure I take whatever I can here. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. The Koskala brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. Needs a password. Oh. And a warrant, technically. Okay. But hey, desperate times. Alright, let's look for that password. The computer controls the door that Tor went through. need to figure out the password okay all right let's see what the how many digits six digits six digits we're looking for a date here I think hmm What were my clues anyway? The day after the new moon. Okay. The day after the new moon, eh? But which month though? Which month? August. Alright, August, the day after the new moon. August 17th, 2023. Alright, August 17th, 23. August 17th, And the doors are open. Yes. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Need to get to him. What is he doing? Wait, he's using like a hammer. Or like a, like a tool hammer, not a Thor hammer. Oh, huh. interesting. All right. Damn, the 
this point still has no lamp. Huh? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I don't like the sound of that. Shit! What the hell is that? that thing yo oh, okay what's up dude ow don't do it to me like that why is it the time Oh no, it, that, it, not, not there we go. Oh my god, I'm dead. Oh wait, no, I'm not dead. Oh shit, please. Please. Finally. Oh my god, I thought I was dead, man. Oh shit. First save myself real quick. Just had to waste all my ammo on that one guy. Okay. Damn. Need to catch up with Tor. Yep. But I have zero. Oh shit! Damn it! Fucking Cynthia! Fucking Cynthia! The sound of this. Tor, don't go. Tor Anderson, you come out of here this minute. Oh, <laughs> Rose? There's an overlap here. Did Cynthia pull Tor in? <laughs> what was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. No. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Damn, what is wrong with this girl, man? Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Mm. Wake has returned. Ooh. Cynthia took Tor. Wake what has returned. When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? 
Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Whoa, look at all these people I can profile now. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> you are the hero. You are here to save Alan. <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torangale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Damn, she's so nice all of a sudden. That's all, he, that's all you had to say to her, huh? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. Man. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Oh shit, time to profile Odin, huh? Alright, let's see here. Wait, but before that, let me put some of this on the case. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? <laughs> Why is she so obsessed with overlaps, man? Dude, like, don't go in there, man. You're just, like, asking to get Keep deeper trying. and deeper in there. The page says the record will open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Man. Well, what are these? Cult initiation letter? Yako and Ilmo were running the cult. Yup, they were. That's what they were doing. Alright, now for the profiling. Alright, who am I supposed to profile this guy? Page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion, raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. What? Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you. Even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine, listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made, he keeps it in the museum. Oh, Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Shit, alright. Well, I gotta get to the museum then. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken, sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor. 
A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Well, I guess I gotta go to the museum. Museum. Where is Tor? Why did mom leave? <clears throat> Check the nursing home's museum for the record. Nursing home? Man. I need something to cut this. Oh. Uh, nothing. Okay. Nursing Homes Museum. Wait, why is it like all dark and stuff? What was that? Huh? Oh. Point. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Is there anyone who didn't show up? A few. Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If they oh. aren't here by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be punctual. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decaf coffee service is almost half an hour behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tor won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. Cynthia's gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh. Oh, shit. How did that happen? Oh, oh. no, Mandy May. Oh, oh, no. Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. Oh. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this monster of a blanket. Oh, and then she's, she just keeps going for some reason. Why? Oh, man, where's the museum? Museum, museum. Where is the museum? I don't see it anywhere. But apparently there's something else there I can talk to about. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> I'm kind of in a hurry right now. Love your show, though. Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never a compromise on quality. That's my motto. We'd be happy to have you on the show any time. Me and my listeners. <laughs> okay. I should clear the... Yeah, let me go talk to the person in the main hall. Whoever is still in here. Right, is this it? No. It's the other way. It's this way. Apparently. Oh, what's going on here?
Wait, did I lose something? Wait, it should be right here. Huh. I don't know where the museum is. Wait, that was a manuscript? Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on. Where is this room? Oh, I'm on. Oh, okay. Should probably just go check on him real quick. Oh, nothing. Nothing. Check on Ati real quick then. I don't know why Ati's still here. Wait. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, he's here. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. He who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his sauce. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Blum liked to talk. <laughs> oh, why does he look so depressed all of a sudden? Ati. Huh. <clears throat> Where is the museum? Hmm. Check the nursing home's museum. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah. Where is the museum? Is it not in here? Maybe it's not even in here. Or should I go check the basement? Mm hmm. Museum. I'm at a loss right now. <clears throat> well, I'm not sure where to go from here. But what is that? Like some place I haven't unlocked yet. All right, talk to her real quick, I guess. What happened to Tor just now? Cynthia took him. Ugh, I knew someone was messing with Tor's head. 
There's something <laughs> wrong with the water here. Pipes acting up, black stuff coming out. <sighs> Cynthia's probably behind that, too. Does Cynthia have any connection to the cult of the tree? <laughs> oh, no, she's way too frail for that. But she used to be this town's best defense against the forces of darkness. Well, after Alan. But I guess it finally got her. Wake is in custody. How have you been in contact with him? He leaves me messages in funny places, like the newspaper, books. Once he even wrote to me with a cloud. If it's something really important, he tells me in a dream. What okay. The fuck? And what does he say to you with these clouds? Ways I can help him, how I can stay safe, good dinner recipes, ways to kill Taken, lots of stuff. I've been finding some pages of writing lately, too, so he must be working on a new book. Exciting. Damn. You need to get the residents out of here. <clears throat> it's not safe. Oh, this kind of stuff rolls right off their backs. They've lived very rich lives. Very resilient. But I already told everyone to wait at the designated muster point on the front porch. <laughs> we run drills every few months. I'm so proud of them. I'm impressed by how prepared you are. We're pretty used to this kind of thing. Wake tells you how to kill Taken? Oh, sure. <laughs> You're the hero, so you must know all about it. All you need is a strong light and then your conventional methods of extreme violence. Simple stuff. <laughs> the tough part is hiding the bodies. I honestly don't know how to react to this. Just doing my part, sister. Oh. God. <laughs> Rose is pretty... Well, I'm pretty suspicious, that's for sure. Think. What is her goal? Not a cult member. <laughs> of course. Of course not, man. Why would she be a cult member? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna run around and see if I can find the museum around, I guess. I need bolt cutters. Bolt cutters, eh? What is that place? Oh no, this is the wellness center. I don't want to be in the wellness center. I need to get to the museum. To the museum, get to the museum. So, nursing home manor, bolt cutter. Oh, wait. That's about it, right? I don't see any other building. What oh, is this the museum? I can't open this with my bare hands. God damn it. Found the page though. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. It's not that one. It's 1988. <clears throat> 
A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you alright, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Damn. <laughs> was a long ass passage, that's for sure. Alright, well. I guess I need to find a bolt cutter somewhere. Where can I find the bolt cutters? Bolt cutter, bolt cutter, bolt cutter. Bolt cutter. Oh man, it would be nice if it's just like right there. I need something to cut this. Damn, no bolt cutter. Just go back in here, I guess. There's gotta be a museum somewhere. I can't find the museum anywhere oh maybe i can go to the maybe i should check the basement i haven't been to the basement before i don't think right okay let's check the basement from here can't open this with my bare hands oh Wait. Wait. No, I can go there. I can go there. I think. Just gotta exit the other way. Get to that basement. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 God. Oh, damn. This game is not good for my health. That's for sure. Holy fuck, man. Cynthia, God damn it. Cynthia. Remember, by my feces. Cynthia just doesn't stop, man. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. 
The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Oh my god. Oh god. Alright. Oh, thank god. There's a safe zone here. Cool, cool. What am I looking for in here anyway? Like, why am I even in here? get scared by fucking Cynthia Weaver. Cynthia. 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 be opened on this side. Damn it, Cynthia. Cynthia, please don't do it to me dirty. Hmm. Basically check the whole place. Apparently, there's a fuse here. Yeah. Okay. And then, what is that? Handgun ammo. Ooh, what's the. Another manuscript. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose-picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands <laughs> after visiting the restroom, <laughs> touching Daniel. things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He beat them down, beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. Uh, I'm okay. Oh, sure. Cynthia, Cynthia, please don't do this me dirty. Please don't do dirty, Cynthia. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. She only pops out. Oh god, here comes Cynthia. Is this something they watch on movie night? That looks just like Casey. Where? What the hell is going on? Wait, nothing's. Wait. Wait, what's going on? What's going on? Huh? Nothing happened. Wait, what? Oh my god, please stop it, Cynthia! Please! Please! Oh, fuck me, man. Another manuscript. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer. Fuck you, a fighter. Cynthia, man. Now the bathroom frightened her. Afraid she'd break her hip. Like Norman. 
Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. Oh. I think I've lost it, oh. Cynthia Please said. Get me out of this, this game. will put a smile back on your face, my dear. Please. A voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the I just dark. Want to get out of this the light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? Oh. She had slipped oh. getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. I don't even know what he's saying. She lifted her oh, hand. Man, it looked wrong. I don't even know. I don't Too even want to hear it. Cynthia's in a black scary. void with no sense of up or down. Oh, she was Cynthia's underwater. So scary. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out of bubbles. I kind of wish I could see this thing. Like, I'm pretty sure there was something going on with the biggest bug. Whatever. The code is 270. Sound of that. Two seven three. Two seven three. Nice. Another fuse. Hell yeah. What can I do with that? A fuse. Could come in handy. Out of here if I can. Oh man. Oh, goodness. Thomas Zane looked just like Wake. Is this why Odin keeps calling him Tom? to do here honestly have I been here before I've been to everywhere pretty much Not sure where to look. Honestly. <clears throat> Other than that nasty bitch Cynthia. Cynthia. Oh, 
Why is it all dark all of a sudden? seen this code before mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yo I don't remember this place being so far Stuck there for a second. Oh my god, Cynthia. Wait. I just circled around. That place, man. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh my god, how do I get out of this loop here? Oh wait, there's something here. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I'm out of there. work do you hear his voice in your head too oh, such a beautiful voice <sighs> what oh man she likes that stuff huh what is going on i am so lost right now Oh god. <laughs> so we need to find the museum. Oh I see it. I see it. Wow. I just found out. Holy shit. It's on the second floor. Wow, I am so dumb. I just explored that whole fucking dark area. Oh my god. Well, hopefully this place isn't that scary. It's right here somewhere, right? remorse Why? <laughs> this is the one oh. but it's gone oh. cynthia has the record she will tell me where to find it oh fuck please help i just want to get out of the fucking darkness man oh oh my god please help Just when, like, when you least expect it, like, she always pops out. Fuck, man. It's out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait, no. Alright, let's profile Odin first. I'm not ready for Angus that. I'm not ready. 
Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another, and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Angus' remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Oh, okay. And she does that by profiling her? Oh, I don't know about this, dude. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. Leaks started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Oh god, okay. Where is Angus' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken roll tweets it. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on off death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Angus' remorse. Oh, do it, Where please. is it, Cynthia? <laughs> The Angus remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In her bathtub. Wow. Okay. <sighs> Fucking Cynthia, man. A bathtub. A pond. A lake. There's a theme here. All right. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. All right. So now what? <clears throat> Search Cynthia's room now? Oh, what if I don't want to, man? What if I don't want to, man? Mm -mm. Yeah, all right, third floor, third floor, third floor. All right, Cynthia. We're going. Um, Cynthia, Cynthia, please. <laughs> Key fob's no good without power. Fuck. Oh my god. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has caught. But trouble doesn't look like oh, this. You, it's coming too. You can go to oh. the basement and check yeah. the generator. But look out. You can never know in which street the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Okay. Go to the nursing home to restore power. But I thought I'd already done that. I thought I already did that, yo. Oh, kind of lost. <clears throat> Where Rose was? No, it's 
guess not. Can't open this with my bare hands. God damn it. To go to the other side. Oh my god, and then go through the whole basement again. I don't know what to do this. Damn it, it's not it either. This isn't it either. So lost. Oh, there we go. Found it. This the sound. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> Why is this game so hard to play? Why is it so scary? Yeah. Key fob's no good without power. No use crying in the dark place. What has been has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the base. I got it. I got it. Ati. Hey, Rose is gone. Oh, oh my God! What an aim by that guy. Oh wow! How did he? Like... Oh my God! Just gotta like go through the whole place again, bro. Which I already have. There. Powers back on. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. No, please. Shit. Oh God, please, Cynthia. Please, let's like chill a little bit, Cynthia. Cynthia. Er. Fucking Cynthia, man. Where to go? She has to be the scariest character in the fucking game. Like, oh, damn. Go back to Cynthia's room. Cynthia's room. Just run for it. They're not worth my time. Oh my god, please. I'm so fucking. Oh my the basement. Thanks. Oh, God, Cynthia! Fuck! The dark presence oh, uses people's memories. How is it so scary? Memories. Like when you know it's coming. God them. damn! Oh God, I don't get it. I don't get it. Fuck Cynthia, man. A power on? station. 
Everyone needs a hobby, I guess. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. I feel like I'm missing some context here. A lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the Dark Presence? She is the Dark Presence, I feel like, man. Oh, shit. Tor's a romantic, huh? Tor. A dam? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? What the hell? The page. Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Okay. What is this now? Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. Oh my god. I need to play it in the jukebox. Oh, okay. Oh god, Cynthia, stop me, please, stop me, bitch! God damn it! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh. I need a break. Let's do some casing. Oh my god, I really need a break from Cynthia right now. Holy shit, man. Why is Cynthia like this? Hmm. Tor is not becoming a Taken. But Cynthia is definitely corrupting him. Trying to keep him away from me? I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case. Before my family gets dragged any further into it. I think they're already too far into it, girl. Cynthia Weaver smiled. Lost without her lantern? Nonsense. Cynthia felt as giddy as a young girl in love. Cynthia had loved Thomas Zane. Tom only had eyes for Barbara. Barbara was bad news. Tom had seen it in the end. Cynthia had been there to comfort him. And when he left, Cynthia waited. Years of waiting. Now Tom had come back to her. They'd be together now see the world she'd always dreamed of seeing new york they were there now in a fancy hotel she drew a bath she would become like barbara no better she sank into dark water into tom tom had enemies plotting against him cynthia would deal with the nasty anderson fellow tor always poking people with his hammer he had it coming anything for tom Okay, okay, good. Alright, let's profile her right now. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. Who is he? Tom was back. Tom had enemies. In a fancy hotel. Just his imagination. A nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old Jesus. Flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Oh God! Okay, again. All right, I need to take a breather here, man. Holy shit! All right, so where can I play this jukebox? Mm, it's gotta be in the use the wrecker in the jukebox. 
But where is the jukebox? Um, hmm. It's either in the first... In the museum or... In the first floor. So let's check it out. Cynthia, man. <laughs> Fuck Cynthia, I swear. No. no. This isn't real. No, please. Cynthia, Fuck this please. place. Am I going in circles? Hey, what's going on, man? Uh, uh, you were the drowned lady, huh? I feel like I've been here before. <laughs> Wait, she's like stuck in here right now. Oh my god, please, Cynthia, please stop this, dude. I think I'm lost. Yeah, you are. Let's try backtracking this way. Wait, what? What now? Damn, this place is such a fucking maze, and I'm scared, and this is the worst! This is the worst, actually the worst. Sound, yo. I don't like the sound of that, bro. Okay. Probably heal myself here real quick, actually. I don't know why I had to be doing this. Yeah, there we go. No power. Can't use the switch.
I need to get the power on to use the switch. Oh, man. Mm hmm Oh, please, Cynthia, please just don't do it. What well, now I have power? So what now? Huh? Nice. The wall just disappeared. The light did that? Hmm. Oh, sick. I feel pretty safe in this light right now. Oh. Oh, but I gotta get out of here, I guess. It's in... It's I'm in the safe zone. Why? All right. Wilson, destroy the only way. Wait, I've been here before. Is there another switch or something here? It's a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. Okay. Why? Cynthia, she's here. Yeah, she's here. A dead end. Wow, okay. Damn. <laughs> What's going on here, man? up back here why yeah why oh what's the nice what is this now why is this right there? Two lighted room next to each other. Ooh, turn this way. Oh, that turns it off. Whoops. I don't want that. Maybe I don't. Oh yeah, there we go. Let's see. Damn it, I don't have anything to cut that shit, so uh, I'm not sure what to do. Yeah, let me like to turn this off too. Nearby. 
Oh, oh, hey. Hey. Oh, hey. That's exactly what I needed. Mm hmm. Ooh, maybe the key is. Highly possible. Oh, I don't think I've been here before. What is this for? Okay. Okay, there's nothing in the box. For some reason. Cool, cool, cool. Wait, am I at a dead end right now? Oh, why is this place such a maze? You know? Way, I guess. Another dead end. Kinda have an idea on what to do. Just look for the key on this uh, the other room right here. Just gotta be a key here. Oh wait. Oh, this room is also locked. Turn this light on real quick. Uh, do I see key anywhere? Oh, this desk. Please, please. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, I can finally use my wrench. That's so that's gonna be so tight. Yeah. Oh yes, please. Cynthia, please show yourself, girl. Okay. All right, now I can just like, now I can turn this off. Damn. Oh God, what the fuck? Oh, what the fuck, bitch? Charge myself here real quick. Alright, alright. How does I heal myself to full here actually? Alright, I'm 
Yeah, of course, dude. To Cynthia Roy. Wait, am I trying to like, get to Alan Wake right now? Wait, I'm back here again. Back again. Gotta go deeper. No way. No way. I'm just like trapped in here. She's trapped. Please, Cynthia. <laughs> oh my god, that's Cynthia herself. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Okay. What's going on here? Hmm. <laughs> Damn, the lady in the water. Fuck, oh, man. Why is she so scary like that, yo? Can't I pick either of these up? So I need them, man. There must be a way to get the power back on. Oh! Oh my God! Ooh. Ooh. Jesus Christ, girl! Oh my goodness, girl. This is it for me. Where is Tor? I can't stand around. Damn. Okay. Shit. What the? Oh, so that counts as water, okay. Um. Just gotta get the power back on that, I guess. Cynthia, Cynthia. the power anyway Oh 
She's scary, yo. Alright, let's go. Okay. Cynthia, Cynthia, stop it. Stop it, Cynthia. Oops, Cynthia. I actually don't know where the power up is. Oh, this is a problem. This is like the only way. Wait, did I just hear the generator? Yeah. Oh my god, I think that's the generator. Right there. Oh, Cynthia, please! Damn, she's scary. I saw her right there. Oh my god, I'm gonna try going this way again. I feel like that's what the generator was. Oh, shit. Oh, this is a girl, man. I, I swear. Run for it, run for it, Sage. Sage is coming. Maybe this way, maybe this way. Alright, let's try this way out. Fuck, man. Wait, I can't do anything in here. Damn, I just gotta keep going then, I guess. Wait, I'm back here now. Oh, there we go. This room looks promising. No, it's not promising yet. Oh, damn, Cynthia, come on. What are you doing to me right now? <laughs> huh? Damn, all right. Wait, this just like. Oh, there it is. I found it. Nice. Ooh, Cynthia. That was close, girl. Alright, here we go. Got the lights on. <laughs> Hold on. Four. Four. Wait a little bit. I'm coming. I'm coming, Grandpa. I'm coming, Grandpa. No. no. Here I come. Hello, 
I'm sorry. I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Tell him, girl. Slap that hole. Slap. Oh. Slap that hole. Slap that hole. Slap that. Oh my god. Oh, just slap it. Where is she? Oh my god, she slapped pretty good. She definitely slapped pretty good. Bitch slap that hole. Yeah. Get bitch slapped. Get bitch slapped. Cynthia. Cynthia, no more. And you again. The FBI. The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wake? Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? I have the clicker. We can finish this. We've got the clicker. You can help. We must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? He's in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past. If this is you, still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in! She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. Ooh. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Oh, poor. Oh, oh, fucking hell. Are you okay? Uh, hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Uh. Nice attitude. A family trait? Uh, uh, you're right. Sorry. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's my job. Now, I've got some questions for you. <laughs> of course you do, sweetie fine. <laughs> and I got answers. <laughs> Ooh. What kind of answer does he have, yo? Wow, that was such a scary yes fucking part. That's for sure. Wow. That was crazy. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Oh, I feel like I'm like shortening my lifespan a bit by playing this game because it's so damn scary. But wow, what a game. The story is amazing. Uh, I guess Thor has something to tell me. So we'll find out about that. Uh, the next chapter 
If you guys uh, enjoy this playthrough, uh, please give a like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, thank you for watching this one. I really, really hated playing this, like in a good way, because it's too scary. Oh, oh, I'm too scared to play. Oh, but damn. Yes, thank you guys for watching this one, and I will see you guys on the next one. Woo! Woo! Oh, please, please get me out of this dark place.